Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday morning and I just got semi ready for the day. I didn't put makeup on and I can't decide if I want to do that or not. So I may. You may see me later with makeup on. But right now I'm going to make, um, make my youngest lunch and get the day started. I'm just getting his snack ready. Um, they have a snack every day in school, so he's taking goldfish today. So I'm just gonna pack that up and put that in his bag separate from his lunch. I'm just getting my son his breakfast now. He has cocoa pebbles, that's a favorite in our house. So I'm just getting his breakfast ready and then he will be all set for his morning and to get ready for school. Now I'm just gonna do a little cleaning up of the house, straightening up, that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna sweep and then I'll be vacuuming and just, um, just like I said, neatening up a little bit. But first we have to take Shelby out so she can do her business. I do a lot of sweeping. So I'm gonna sweep the stairs now um, just to get any crumbs that the boys drop when they go upstairs. Um, sometimes, you know, they're teenagers and they're in and out of their rooms and grabbing snacks on the go. So I'm just gonna make sure that the stairs are all swept up for the day. So I'm just vacuuming, just gonna vacuum the dining room and the living room. Um, I always do a vacuum in the morning and then that way I don't have to do it later in the day. Um, usually, sometimes. Um, sometimes, you know, if we have a lot of company over or the kids have friends over, we do vacuum um, twice a day. But yeah, on a usual or on a typical day, it is once a day.
I wanted to show you how I do my meal plan because I plan out my dinners for the week and I write them all down. Um, so I just started this and I also write down like all of the staples that I need every week. So um, I write those down as well. But I just started doing my meal plan. I use Pinterest a lot too. I searched um, easy chicken dinner recipes and I found um, one for a baked Caesar chicken and I'm just gonna do a salad that way um, with it because that way we can cut up our chicken and add it to the salad and we can have a baked Caesar chicken salad. So I thought I would do that, but I'll link the recipe for the baked Caesar chicken salad in the description box below. But, so I did want to show you this is how I plan. I just got home from um, running errands and I volunteer at my son's school so I was um, doing that. I do that for a couple of hours and I have my lunch made. I made some egg salad and I have some salt and vinegar chips. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then um, I'm gonna make dinner. Okay, so I uh, ate my lunch and now I am going to make chili for dinner. So I'm gonna get that started so it can cook for a while. Um, the kids like to eat early and I, I do like um, my chili flavors to all simmer together. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I have the oops, the ground beef here in the um, in the pan. So we're gonna get that all browned up. While I have the ground beef browning in the pot, I'm going to cut up um, the pepper, which usually I use a green pepper, but I didn't have that. I have this. Um, what's it called, a cubanelle, or I think that's how you say it, a cubanelle pepper, and I also will be chopping up an onion. So I, I added the pepper and onion to the ground beef, and now we're gonna let the vegetables sweat. So I'm gonna um, turn them down to medium here, and I'm gonna put the lid on them the lid here so we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna let those sweat and then I will add the rest of our ingredients when the onions are translucent then you can pour in the crushed tomatoes and you can use any kind I just use oh gosh it's splashing all over I just used um, red pack because that's the kind I always use so I use Red Pack tomato and it's the 28 ounce can. And then I'm gonna fill it with water. So if we come right over here to the sink and I'm gonna fill this can um, halfway. So we just need it. And then you can judge if you need a little more, you can always add, but it's better to put less water. and add to it then put too much and then you've ruined it and you'll have watery chili so i'm gonna go ahead and add and i do it like just to cover the top there and then i'll stir it around just to get the consistency so I can see if I need to add a little bit more. And yes, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I also have soup going as well. My daughter likes ramen soup, so I've got that going for her. But I'm just gonna add a tad bit more water. Oh, I think that's perfect. Okay. I'm trying to get it all mixed up. Now I'm gonna add my seasonings. All right, so I'm gonna add the chili powder and I don't uh, measure it. I just can always add more. I just do it by taste. So I add the chili powder and mix it all up. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna put in a bay leaf. And I just add some hot pepper flakes. My older kids like a little bit of heat, so. Just a little. Because we're, and I don't like to use a lot of salt um, when I cook, but we're gonna put, we're gonna salt this up. Put some pepper on it as well. And then I'm gonna also add some vinegar and hot sauce. Again, I just eyeball this. So, and you just want, you add enough vinegar just so you, you get a little hint of the vinegar. So I add maybe a little more there. Okay. So I add that vinegar. I'm also going to add the hot sauce here. And then I get to clean up my stove because I made a mess. Okay. And I just give it just a little bit because you want just a hint of heat. I don't know, that might have been too hot. We'll see. My kids like it hot. My husband, not so much. So hopefully it's not too spicy for him. I am gonna taste it and see. Okay, so I'm gonna let that simmer um, probably for like, I'd say like two and a half to three hours, just so all of the flavors blend together. And then um, once it's ready, you can top it with uh, oyster crackers, um, tortilla chips and cheese, or just cheese. That's, um, you know, some that, those are some of the things that my family likes to eat um, with their chili. So that is how I make my chili. I just wanted to show you all, look at the snow, it's so pretty. It's been snowing like this all morning and then it literally just stopped for probably 10 minutes or so and started back up and it's, it's always so pretty when it first falls, but I just wanted to show you. This is a very small load of laundry, um, but I am gonna fold this and put it away, or at least put it in the kids' room so they can put it away. Okay, I'm a little out of breath because I just ran um, downstairs and <laughs> put the laundry basket down because I folded some laundry that I had started this morning before I left the house and now I'm 
um, waiting for I I have um, a load of laundry in the in the dryer and another load in the washer so I'm just waiting for those to get done um, I'll have to go and get my son in a little bit so I do have a little bit of free time to myself while the kids are doing um, their online learning so I came up to my room because my daughter who um, is downstairs she's doing her gym class right now so I didn't want to bother her she's got her yoga mat out and um, I want to watch TV and I feel like she's not gonna concentrate um, if I'm down there watching TV she'll be trying to talk to me and doing other things and so um, I thought I would just sit in my room while she's um, doing that my TV is always on the Hallmark Channel always I mean like year-round it's on the Hallmark Channel. Um, my husband says he knows what room I'm in because the TV, when he goes to turn the TV on in that room, it's on the Hallmark Channel. So, um, yeah, I I love Hallmark movies. How many of you do? If you love Hallmark movies, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I love Hallmark movies, but I also... Um, I do watch other things, but I just was uh, scrolling through the channels. And so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so it's dinner time, and this is what the chili looks like all prepared. So it's super delicious. So I'm going to go eat my dinner, and I guess that'll be it for this video. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And also, if you could like and comment as well, that really helps out my channel. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.